You say uh, Nikola Jokic is the best player in the world. If I, if I say that Steph Curry, there's an argument. Oh, we got an argument, right? I mean, they, we could argue about that. What are, That's What are we basing it off of, though? Collectively, as a whole, Nikola Jokic is the best player. He's the mo he's one of the most elite passers in the game. He's so got Steph, he's a big man that can shoot threes. Defensively, he Steph's might not need a big a man. A he's not a big no he's not a big man who can shoot threes, but he's a little man who shoots threes better. I, look, I, I'm just look. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to troll you. I'm just I'm just trying to point out that when we say the best player in the world. When you say number one, there's always an argument for number one, whether it's the best filmmaker, best hooper, best rapper, best teacher, best talk show host. It's uh, subjective. No, wherever it is. Your, yours <laughs> is, it is. Your, it's always subjective. Wrong, but that's okay. We can all have them. And Nicole Jokic is the best player in the world, period. That's all. Okay, you said, but let me just point out, before <laughs> I get to Jason Tatum. Okay, before I get to Jason Tatum, hold on. Before I get to Tatum, because uh, I'm not going to go Tatum now. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pick a position that is, I would think is unassailable. And then I want to see if you can uh, assail my unassailable position. And that is, okay. You said Jokic is a big man who shoots threes. I came back and said Steph Curry is a smaller man who shoots threes bigger, better than the big man who shoots threes, right? Uh, you said Jokic is an elite passer. Uh, Steph Curry, pretty damn good passer. Maybe not, doesn't pass like Jokic, but pretty good passer. Uh, what else? Rebounder? No, rebounding. Uh, give it to uh, Jokic. Defense? They about even defensively. As a matter of fact, Steph might be better defensively. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Uh, elevating teammates? I'm not even getting to the big one. I, I, I'm holding that in my back pocket. The big one I'm okay. holding in my back pocket. They Teammates, now Steph Curry is the type of guy that can single-handedly win a game by himself. You let him get hot from the three, it's a wrap. But to me, Jokic is the type of guy that gets on the floor and makes everyone better around him. Uh, is this not a team Steph sport? Is this not yeah, a team yeah, sport? So what I'm saying is, I think I that love Steph I love Jokic. absolutely can elevate his teammates, but it, it's in a different way. Steph Curry can get the ball in his hands and single-handedly win a game alone. Whereas Nikola Jokic gets, gets on the floor and every person in the starting five is getting better. So to me, that's more impactful. I'm not saying that what Steph yeah. Curry does isn't impressive, but it's more impactful from a team, a chemistry, a unit perspective. That's how I feel. Uh, let, 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 let me just, let, 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 let me just, hold on. Let me, I just wanted to put this in perspective here, Liv. Can I put something okay. in perspective? I watched in person as Steph Curry won a championship with yes. two teammates in the starting lineup that if you left them in the gym alone for two weeks would not hit double figures. I, I mean, okay. I, I'm just hating, but no. Kayvon, Kayvon Looney and, and, Draymond, and Draymond Green in the starting lineup in the NBA Finals. Steph Curry's on the team. These guys cannot score. They could not score like you leave them open and yet they still won a championship. You, you want to talk about the blessing of playing with Steph Curry. He says, that's all right. You ain't got to score. Why don't you facilitate? You ain't got to score. Why don't you set picks? You ain't got to score. All you got to do is rebound and play defense. I got you. I got you. Set me up. I got you. You know how, that, you know how rare that is? And how listen, amazing I'm not that is? Trying to, I don't want that's people amazing. to get this. I am not trying to downplay who Steph Curry, Steph Curry is potentially the best guard we've seen in a very long time. <laughs> oh, he is, okay. and I'm not okay. taking that away from him. Right. However, I think what Jokic is doing is that he's playing basketball in such a way that he is simply unguardable. You cannot listen. Steph Curry, to his own to his own degree, is is absolutely you could argue unguardable from the three point line because he is just so exceptional when it comes to three-point shooting. He's efficient, and he is clutch. He's clutch. Steph Curry is one of the clutchest players in the league. Nikola Jokic, to me, is playing a different game. He's got ugly one-footer, uh, off-center, no-look floaters that look disgusting, and they're hideous, but you can't guard it. You can't prepare for it because he lobs it up there, and it looks so effortless that it just he's just playing a different 
level right now. And I'm not saying it's a better one. He's just pl- he is playing basketball in such a way right now that I don't think he's stoppable. And I'm not just saying that as a Nuggets fan. I'm saying that because you yeah. can't guard yeah. something you've never seen. He is playing basketball okay. unlike anything we've seen in a long time. So I don't. That's why I don't really like the comparison game a lot of times because. I love Steph Curry. Steph Curry to me is one of my favorite players to watch. He's and he hasn't slowed down at all. I kind of went into the season going, okay, he's getting a little older. What are we going to see? No, right. right. Still he's just doing fine. It. Uh, he's still doing it. So that's where it's hard because I feel like apples and oranges a little bit when I'm comparing a big man that's just like playing this very unique style of ball to a Steph Curry who just is clutch and the most efficient three point shooter in the league. Like it's just a hard comparison, but yeah. I think because of Nikola Jokic being unguardable in the sense that you just don't know how to prepare for that man. That's to me, what makes him the best player in the league. But that would be it. That's why, of, but they're both, but they're both one-on-one. That's why it's like a good comparison. Never seen a center like Jokic. I can say that I've never seen it. I haven't, I'm have not in my lifetime seen a center like Jokic. Haven't seen a guard like Steph Curry. So, you know, but uh, you know, I, we just yeah, got it's we, hard. I, it, it's, I just want to throw it out there. I just want to throw it out there. We to be continued, to be continued, and not even get to my. You know how Jason thing I have in my back pocket. In one I, time, no, 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 I, I'm not bringing Jason You're Tatum in. that the things you said were a little crazy. That's a few. That, I know, but that was a futuristic one. That was a. It was a. <laughs> hey, what's your hot take? Oh, yeah. Give me a prediction. <laughs> and my prediction is that okay. Tatum. Okay. And look. It was very respectful. It was a very respectful prediction. I said Tatum and the Celtics will beat the Nuggets in five games in the NBA Finals. You know, I mean, I, I think that's respectful, right? Five games. Not with me. Uh, not not with me on this show with you right now. Super not <laughs> uh, Natalie's here, and uh, Natalie, uh, I don't know if you heard Liv talking about the Warriors. Uh, talking did. about Steph Curry. She said. With so much authority, so much authority that Nikola Jokic is the best player in the league. And we went back and forth, but uh, who am I? Who am I to go back and forth with live moves? Who am I? Say things like that and not be discrediting other players. I think we need to make that clear. You can, okay. I can say yeah, Nikola Jokic is the best player in the league and still be able to go, Steph Curry's him. And and I, I yeah. mean, Steph Curry, I will never rob Steph Curry of what he is because he is, he is him. He is. There's no denying is that. He, I agree. Is uh, Natalie is he the is he the best player in the league over Jokic or is is Jokic that guy because they won last year? So in my opinion, he is the best player in the league, but I hey, think there is a very strong case for Jokic and I'm not oh, going to get mad at anyone saying that it's Jokic. Like to me, I think that I, I like to put players in tiers. So I think there's tier 1 guys. And in my opinion, the debate between who's the best player in the league is between Jokic, Steph, and Giannis. I actually think Jokic and Steph are a little slightly tear higher than Giannis, but I think those are the three. I'm not going to really push back on anyone for that. You know, I do think there is a level of credence that you give to the reigning champs. Um, And I feel the pain of certain Nuggets fans because the Warriors went through this when they won their first championship and went through it many years with Steph not getting his proper credit. So, you know, again, I'm not really going to push back um, about Jokic and and like Liv is saying, like, look, I'm not hating on Steph. I love him. People last year thought I was a Jokic hater because of things that I would say, but I actually really do love Jokic. I'm a fan of him. So I'm not here to dispute that. The great exception, though, that I took with what Liv said is with respect to the constant referencing of Steph's three-point shooting, I feel like is not really quite accurately describing what he does on the court. Um, He is a three-level scorer, one of the best the game has ever seen. Because his three-point shooting is so extravagant and spectacular, because he's the best undisputed shooter to play the game of basketball, he is best at doing one of the most, if not the most important skill in basketball, it overlooks, it overshadows all the other things that he does well on the court. So he is an above average passer. He's a very great passer. He is an excellent finisher, actually finishes at a higher percentage around the rim than Kyrie Irving, everyone's favorite finisher that they like to tout. Um, When it comes to Steph making his team better, 
their impact metrics, like I think in the last couple of years is the first time that Jokic has actually like ever passed him. Steph has led the league in that for years in terms of on off and what his team is like when he's on the court and when he's not. And I don't believe that's just done by his scoring. The, the, the Warriors, even when Kevin Durant was on that team, could not survive without him. That's why there's such a big deal right now being made of the Chris Paul addition to the team because now they're winning those 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 minutes they are they are growing leads so that's my only exception not to debate who is actually better um I think Steph's all-around game is often overlooked I think he's unguardable he's being picked up the moment he gets on the court there's no player and I think you noted this Holly that you could put on the court and say let me have two negative spacers in Draymond Green (laughs) and Kevon Looney And that lineup will work. You cannot name another player in NBA history that that's going to work with. It only works because it's Stephen Curry. So that's my only pushback. But I don't have, I don't take exception to live believing that Jokic is the best player in the world. I like it. I like it. You know, that's that's very, that's that's a very respectful uh, answer. We'll revisit. I respect Liv. He was trying to get me to get Rowdy live, but I know that Michael Holly likes to trigger me yeah. now, so I won't I allow him to do it because, you know, we stick together as women in this game. Uh, hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.